All right, ladies and gentlemen, just wanted to say welcome back to school. I know it's, uh, I'm recording this on Monday, which is still Easter break, but I was wanted to get this information out to you. So whenever you happen to be seeing this, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Um, I want to talk about how to create a shared folder in Drive, um, ways to connect with Zoom, navigating both the learntcsdk.org and the teachtcsdk.org website, and a really cool tool called Gifit. Uh, I just found that out thanks to uh, Courtney Fox. Shout out. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty cool. All right, moving on. Our first topic is uh, sharing a drive folder. Now I was able to make these little giffies. This is pretty cool. Um, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to your drive and uh, create a folder. So let's say I want to create one here. So I'm going to hit new and I'm going to click folder. And now this is the folder I want to um, share out with other people. Um, and I'm just going to call it my um, sharing folder. And again, you put whatever you want in here. So once it's shared or once I create the folder, I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to hit open, or excuse me, I'm going to hit share. And now I'm going to click on advanced sharing down here. And I'm going to change this. It will start off, it'll say right here. Um, and then just click anyone with the link. Now what that does is anything I put in this folder will automatically be shared. Um, people will be able to see it without having to share it with them. So as I'm communicating with parents and I'm creating videos. I can save my videos here and then I can um, get that shareable link and share that out on YouTube or Facebook or Seesaw or wherever and they'll see your folder. So you're able to within this folder just put, drop items and you don't have to worry about them requesting permission anymore. It just they automatically have uh, permission and that's what this is showing you. So again um, open your drive, figure out where you want the folder, create the folder, um, right click on it, go to advanced settings and then change it. And now whatever you put in that folder, they'll be able to see. So if you have any questions, you know, hit me up. Obviously I will help you out. Moving on, Zoom. How do you Zoom? What is Zoom? Uh, there's a website. I was reluctant to share this out with you before because of the new uh, sharing. And I'll just talk about that real quick. Um, the reason we have it set up uh, so that you're not sharing video with students is so that it's really a privacy concern. We don't want other people seeing into the houses of other kiddos. Um, you don't want to have kiddos that are maybe doing things that are inappropriate that you don't have control over. So you don't want to open yourself up to that. Can you Zoom? Yes. Uh, if you Zoom, you have to do specific things. So click onto the website. It'll bring you to right here. Um, click schedule a meeting, sign in. Uh, hit schedule meeting. It's going to look just like this. And you can set up the time that you want to do it. Um, you can make it recurring, which you probably are not going to want to. Um, post, you, you want your video, um, hit on. And yes, you want to have them see you, but turn theirs off. And it's uh, automatically set up that way. Um, for audio, you can have it computer only or telephone. And just hit both and you're good to go. Um, enable to join before host. I would say no. Um, you don't want them in there communicating in like like a virtual waiting room before you get in there. Um, and then um, mute, you can mute them when they first come in, which is kind of nice because it gets a little bit echoey and things going on. So if you want to click that, they'll have to just turn theirs on, which they can. And then if you want to enable a waiting room, again, that is entirely up to you. Um, they can't join before you, but they'll just be waiting. So I think that's fine. And then hit save and it'll give you the link and you share that link out with them. You can put it on Google Classroom or Seesaw or email it out and then they can click on it and then they can Zoom. And Zooming is pretty cool. Um, I can dive a little deeper into it if you have more um, detailed questions and you're fine. If you need more help, click here and it'll take you to this website which has a ton of resources. And if you just wanna practice Zooming with me, no problem at all. Um, my uh, personal cell number, you can give me a call, 280-8621. You can text me, um, call me and say, hey, I, I don't feel comfortable talking me through it. I will happily do that. Again, my personal cell number, 280-8621, area code 559. Um, or shoot me an email and I will. we can practice Zooming so you feel comfortable talking through it and then you can 
go on your merry way. All right, so that's Zoom. Next, I want to talk about the two websites. There's the teach.tcsdk.org and the learn.tcsdk.org. Let's go to the teach first. Now on the teach one, I got it right here. Uh, there's These are those videos that uh, Paula Dare sent us and she dives deep into everything. So if you have questions, uh, click, click on those and you can hear those. Uh, so we can go to communication. There's a ton of different ways you can communicate with your, uh, your kiddos. There's Zoom, Seesaw, Screencastify, Google Classroom, Flipgrid, Aries Communication, and Google Voice. Uh, if you don't want to use your personal cell phone, click on Google Voice and you can set yours up. The directions are right in here. Here's directions for all these. Once again, if you have a more detailed question, give me a call and I'll talk you through it any way I can. Uh, resources, there's ELD, math, science, social studies, PE, and library. Just click on any of these. They'll take you right to a whole bunch of things. Like if we look at the ELA and the ELD, there's um, some instructions for if you don't want tech, there's our adopted materials. Um, and here's some different techie things that we have. And this is changing as we get permissions and more things pop out. So keep an eye. Don't just look at it once and say, oh, it's done. No, they're still adding things to it. So uh, definitely take a look at some of these. There's some really great things out there. Um, also, I was noticing as I was looking at the library, some of you are, are asking, hey, can I read a book to my kiddos? And the answer is, yes, you can. You can even post it um, on your Seesaw because it's just you reading to the kids. No problem with copyright infringement at all. Um, if you're going to publish it to the web, that's where we have some issues. If you're going to post it onto like YouTube or something. However, a lot of the different um, organizations like Disney, for example, are allowing you to read a book like a princess book and post it online. You just have to say, um, I'm a teacher and I'm doing this with doing this with the permission of Disney. So you can do it. If you want to read more of the guidelines, click on this document and figure out which book you have. There's so many great resources out there. So you can definitely do that. And if you have more, uh, more support questions, here's some things you can dive into. Um, okay, so if you wanna look at what the kids' website looks like, here it is. The, here are some videos, again, that's uh, Miss Adair talking about what's out there. You can dive into whatever grade level that we that we need, um, how to get on Clever, um, and some different family resources as well. So they're all on this website. So ton of things, and again, it is changing as um, more items and more things are are popping up there. Um, I want to dive into a really cool extension if you want to make your uh, your things pop. So it's called Gifit or GIF it, depending on how you say it. I say, uh, I think it's GIF. Anyways, uh, you can click on the extension, you can download it, and this allows you to take any YouTube video and turn it into a GIF or a GIF, and you can add it. That's how I did this right here. I made this, um, but you can add a background to your uh, Google Classroom, which is pretty awesome. Um, so definitely wanna have that. What am I gonna do next week? You tell me, what do you need? Tell me what Tell me what I can help you with. And if you find any cool extensions or tips, let me know. All right, with that, I'm going to end it. Thank you so much. And please reach out if you have any questions.